morning. morning. So we are about to go snorkeling. I think it's still on. There was an absolute storm last night. It was blowing the camper van everywhere. I couldn't sleep like I thought we were gonna go over. It was crazy. So fingers crossed it's still on. We're gonna meet the guy. It's in the national park where we're meeting and then they're gonna drive us to wherever we're gonna snorkel. I've woken up with this bad boy. You probably saw it in yesterday's vlog. I got a big fat coal saw over there. Ew. No snogging for me today. <laughs> We've changed from wetsuits to dry suits now because it turns out that they're warmer. So let's go and see what it's all about. This is where we go in. The number here is how deep silver is. Sometimes we call it the real blue lagoon because it's mm -hmm. so blue that you can drink the water. It's very good water. So there's only four of us on this trip, which is great because we have more time to like float about and stuff. But I've just remembered, Craig, I get really travel sick when I snorkel. <laughs> Did you reckon? You reckon? It's like a 30 minute trip. The guy's really nice and we're going to go and get suited and booted with some dry suits. Okay, so he's got his little fleecy onesie going on. For under his dry suit. Bjerke looked after us, top guy. We went with Adventure Box, so we'll put that in the description if you want to do this, because you should definitely should. I know. Them. It was cold, but it was totally worth it. Like, mind-blowing scenes. It was really good. Best part is you get a hot chocolate when you come out, but Amy doesn't drink chocolate, so she's human. <laughs> I'm to bloody great time, Craig. One of the coolest things we've ever done. It was like, so cold like I was I was ready for it to like freeze my nose and my face and it did but you just float on your back whenever you, you get too cold but to look down it goes so far down and it's just blue and crystal clear yeah and you can just drink it as well it was going in my snorkel and I was like mm -hmm. like proper <laughs> tasty water it was it was amazing like you can't describe it unless you guys do it most of this stuff you can't so just book your tickets come to Iceland and experience it for yourself. You can actually touch the tectonic plates. So there's like the Eurasian plate and the North American plate, which runs right through Iceland, and that's where Silfra is. So it's slowly getting pulled apart, like a centimeter a year. Yeah. And you can still touch both sides. So in like 10, 20 years, you won't be able to. I fully understand tectonic plates and continents. No, what is it called? Continents. <laughs> Done Absolutely class. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. There was only four of us that went out, so it was real cute, like real tight knit team and real personable. It was lovely. I had a great time. So this afternoon we're gonna go meet Mr. B, Birke, Mr. B, and his other half Maddie, and they're gonna cook us some traditional Icelandic food. Yeah. Which is gonna be really nice. And then we're gonna go to the Blue Lagoon. Yes, I can't wait. Mr. B has got two bulldogs, and I can't wait to meet them. We've finally got the barbecue set up. We're about to make some steak so we can have some steak bacon. Yes! How's that? Lovely. 10 out of 10 mm. for this naughty bagel. Ooh. 
any vegetarians, I'm really sorry. It's Mr. B! Yeah! Going up to Mr. B's house for some scram and some meatball box. <laughs> Little Henry. Little no. Henry, yeah. <laughs> what is it? L um, lamb filling. Ooh, this looks so good. So we've just had a wonderful slap up meal made by Mr. B himself. And we met his girlfriend as well, Maddie. She's gorgeous. And the dogs. Don't forget the dogs. Thanks so much, guys, for your hospitality. You're literally the kindest people we've ever met. So there's only one way to finish off our Icelandic trip. To the Blue Lagoon! Look, Mum, it's Ikea! It's like cozy in here. And there in the mist, you can see an Amy Bannister swimming in the smoke. Face mask on. I don't know, it's around. There's not many people here because it's quite late. And this little mask of Zorro. <laughs> I just want to find the warm spots. Oh, it's freezing. It's really cold on your face though when you put the mask on. Oh my god, there's a humpback! And just like that, we're back in Barry Bados. What a blooming week. <laughs> the lagoon was class. It was such a good ending. So thanks for spoiling us, Mr. B, with all that food. Thanks, Mr. B, we love you. So if you're planning on going to Iceland, then check out our YouTube videos. You can see exactly what we've done. And also check out Cozy Campers as well, because it's probably the best way to experience Iceland. We saw a couple of vans dotted about when we were there, and some of them were pretty they average. They were shit. <laughs> so if you're gonna go, Go all out and get a cozy camper. Definitely. It was literally one of the best weeks ever. We had such a good time. Iceland's just full of magic. Like, you gotta go. It is unbelievable. So that is us. So if you're new, then thank you so much for watching. And please click subscribe. Yeah, and if you're not new, then thanks for watching our stuff. And we love you loads. And we'll see you soon. Who knows? Who knows where? One, two, three. Bye. Bye. King of it. Rule your own world. It's not worth it, don't do it.